The team values a lot the community that kept Warcraft free alive for 13 years. <clears throat> well, there it is. Hello. Welcome to the Wowhead interview with Warcraft Free Reforged team at BlizzCon 2018. This article is courtesy of wowhead.com. Thank you to them for this. I shall read through and we will see if we can all get a little bit more hyped for the upcoming Reforged Warcraft Free. So with all the excitement about Warcraft Free Reforged, today we had an exclusive interview with their dev team. We interviewed Rob Breidenbecker, executive producer, and Michael Scipion, systems game designer from Blizzard's Classic Games Division. The highlights of this include Warcraft 3 Reforged is being made by the same team that released Starcraft Remastered. The main focus of the team is laser cut fidelity with the original Warcraft 3 experience. The team wants to have all custom maps from Frozen Throne working with Reforged. More tools should arrive for the map editor to help creators with some unnecessary roadblocks. The team values a lot the community that kept Warcraft free alive for 13 years. <clears throat> Without much support and is looking to have a lot of dialogue with them to make Reforge into the best possible ex improvements to gameplay will be carefully analyzed. The main focus is to preserve the Warcraft free experience. Lore retcons that happened after Warcraft 3 came out will likely be adapted to their new version. But again, it is an area that will be a lot of dialogue with the community. Currently, the team has no plans to expand the Warcraft free reign of chaos and the Frozen Throne campaigns or add content from Warcraft 1 or 2 to the game. So you're not going to get Naga as the fifth race or the demons. Hey, Witty here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to my channel for Warcraft free content every day. Just click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified of the latest Warcraft free news. Thank you very much to those who also help support on patreon.com slash witty warcraft. I really appreciate it. And if you would like to become a patron, please do consider doing so at patreon.com slash witty warcraft. Thank you very much. The game uses the same base engine as the original Warcraft 3, including the same AI. So theoretically, one versus 11 insane computers and all that should still behave the same, etc, etc. Everything to preserve the experience. There will be options to use Old Warcraft free models in the game for those looking to retain the classic experience. That would be curious to see how they pull that one off. Because currently the new models that they showed off don't have the correct selection scales and such. But... We'll see as the interview goes on. The game will be... For, well, they can still put the skin over the thing, but just have the incorrect selection skills. I'm, I'm bothered about that. The game will be fully voiced and translated into multiple languages. More than it was originally. So for the interview that Wowhead took place with the classic team, the interview was also recorded. There will be a video version of it early next week, they say in this article. So Wowhead says, To begin, why Warcraft 3 over other classic games such as Warcraft 1, 2 or Diablo? Rob Breidenbecker says, When we started classic StarCraft, we actually started after we remastered that. And we really cut our teeth on what was involved in remastering RTSs. So it felt like a logical extension to immediately go and start working on Warcraft 3. There's just so many opportunities that exist in the game itself. And then we can take all those learnings from what we did with StarCraft Remastered and directly apply them to Warcraft. WH says, that's Wowhead, another point a lot of people are excited about is will this be the same experience or will it be expanded content like an extra campaign? And Rob Breidenbecker says, So right now, we are laser-focused on bringing Warcraft 3 forward into today's graphical state. Gameplay state, and that is a pretty monumental task. We didn't too much into the details, the presentation this morning. But one of the things that folks would be interested to know is that the original version of Warcraft 3 is still basically compatible with the Reforged version. And that includes also the maps, custom mods, the idea... There is that we're starting from the original version of Warcraft 3 and we're evolving. We're adding all the graphics, we're adding in some new mechanics, and from a campaign standpoint, from a gameplay standpoint, 
but we're rooted in what made Warcraft 3 great to begin with. Make Warcraft 3 great again. Michael Siapone. Sorry if I'm butchering that name. Cypione. I'll call him Cypione. And we're also looking at certain systems around the game. So for multiplayer, we're exploring how to do ranked because the old one had a few different ways of doing ranked and it was basically just sheer levels and have a level and it goes up. And we're currently exploring how some of the more modern ones have done it. What kind of ranking what would work? We want to maintain par uh, parity with some of the old systems. So we're looking at the automated tournaments, which was a big part. I used to play those all the time. Those are like the one versus one tournaments, 2v2 tournaments, etc. And so we're looking at those and seeing are there ways we can modernize, but we also want to make sure we don't take away from what makes it special because there is a feeling you get when you play in the old system. This is a Warcraft free tournament. So Wowhead says that ties into the third most asked aspect, uh, asked topic, which is the map editor. Can I import Warcraft free for Rosen Throne maps into Reforged? Rob says, so the way it's supposed to work, we're not done yet, but for the most part, the way it should work is that if the maps existed before, they will just automatically load up. Now on a caveat, there's a lot of maps out there, like there's a lot, yes, there's, I think even though a million sounds like an exaggeration, it's got to be coming up close to a million Warcraft 3 maps, I would not be surprised. Like there's a lot, so we're going to get hopefully all of them. Good luck getting a million. And if we don't get all of them, we're going to get a whole bunch of them. The other things we're doing is we are infested more and more in the world editor. We actually have hired some folks from the community that are very familiar with making extra content and actively uh, involve in through add-ons and so forth. I think they're probably talking about the people that are on HiveWorkshop.com that they've, you know, they've hired and worked with in the past or very recently. So we brought them in to help us build this with the intent of their going back out and giving the world editor and its enhancements back to the community. And we've been working on that over the past couple of years with some people with access to Warcraft 3. But as we go further with Reforged, more tools are going to be available. We're trying to locate areas where we had roadblocks, uh, places we ran into and where we can unblock it with this whole reforged thing and part of that is asking them flat asking what's going on as well as observations says Michael Wowhead says the first thing people were asking as the presentation ended was am I going to be able to play tower defense or orcs versus humans Rob says there's a lot of cool sub genres that came out and full genres that spawned from it and why would we start from this place is that we don't want to lose any of that. Some of the language doesn't always follow through. We have 15 to 16 years of new ways to engage as a player and you've got all these great tools that you know and you know how to use and we're going to evolve those as well so that you can create new experiences. So a question about gameplay. You said a thing about laser focus on recreating Warcraft 3 experience. But we've had a lot of improvements in StarCraft, like select all units that weren't in Warcraft 3. Will those make an appearance in Reforged? Or Ma uh, Michael says, I think those are going to be the kind of things that we're going to have a lot of dialogue on, aka discussion. Because we all saw in the StarCraft Remastered, a lot of it was, this is what makes the game great. This is how it is. We accept it. It works. Don't break it. It's the same. Don't break it. And so with Warcraft 3, we've already reached out a bit to the high level players who've been playing all this time. The receptive to balance changes. That's different from full on gameplay. So it's still up in the air. Quite vague. It's very much tread cautiously, says Rob. We're interested in evolving the game, but we need to make sure that we're very deliberate about any actual changes and that we have an active dialogue. Wowhead says, since Warcraft 3 was launched, there were a lot of retcons. For example, the Draenei and the Lost Ones. Will those be implemented in Reforged or be kept as the same in Warcraft 3? Michael says, another area we're looking for a lot of dialogue right now, but in general, we do not uh, we do want to be more in mind of World of Warcraft, but there are parts of what makes Warcraft free and free. Yeah, World of Warcraft takes over, doesn't it? If you saw the demo that they were demonstrating at BlizzCon, the Stratham, it was mentioned that 
it's more or less based off the World of Warcraft layout for the you know map even though Warcraft 3 was the one that started it all so World of Warcraft gets more credit for designing Warcraft 3 than Warcraft 3 does uh Michael yeah yeah rob says i think a great example of where it's been okay is like in a demo build for folks at blizzcon today the culling of strathum that's not the strathum that you recognize right there was a zoo and you actually started the mission in the upper right hand corner and entered from the back folks on the team said no no we need to make this like you're going to raise the city you want to take the town start from the front of it have people walk up over the bridge to make it feel like Strathen. We had to get rid of some things. There is no Sue. Uh, that was a little, um, what would you call it, Easter egg. They did have a little Sue with Sergling in it, uh, in the original map. But the mission itself still feels like Strathen. There's nothing significantly divorced from the original experience. Bogdanov saying, Blizzard wants one unified art style for Warcraft. So the Warcraft 3 cartoonish graphics are phased out because they don't align with our official star. Well, we're going to have a problem then, aren't we? Wowhead says, I think it was one of the first maps I failed in the campaign, which made it really memorable. When I discovered that there was a demo, I was really excited. Rob says, when you have a chance to play, don't play it on normal, play it on hard. Michael says, it's noticeably harder. Rob says, it's not easy, but it's worth it. Wowhead says, were there any AI improvements or plans to add better AI? Rob says, we'll take a look at stuff like that. Again, that falls into the cate excuse me, category of not wanting to change the things that made the game great. So as we start peeling back the layers of the onion, so to speak, we want to tread cautiously. First rule, don't break the game. And so every decision that we make is rooted in that principle. We don't want to break the game. Wowhead says, way in the future, is the team willing to add more DLC or expansions or different campaigns once everything else is done? Rob says, how far in the future are we thinking? Wowhead says, well, people are asking about Warcraft 1 and 2. I think people just want to see how far this will go. Rob says, I think it's fair to say that we have our hands full right now, just getting everything where we want it from Warcraft 3 for our community, for our fans. I can't tell you what the future is going to look like, but I do know that Warcraft 3 is an amazing game with a ton of additional content because of the great community that has developed all of these wonderful maps and all of these great new ways to engage with each other. Wowhead says, on the site, it mentioned that Frozen Throne would be included. I imagine the Horde campaign would also be fully included. Michael says, oh yeah, the Fanon of Durata. Yeah, it worked. Uh, the way it worked is you, you downloaded them for a patch. I was just talking about this the other day. Rob says, you know that's funny because it's one of the things that's so obvious, joyous, about having the opportunity to go back. Not just the process of reforging, but the journey for the team. We all came from different places. You were saying earlier you were in high school. Michael says, yeah, I was in high school when I played all of the ranked ladders after beating the campaigns. Rob says, and Pete, he was saying he came to the industry because of the game. His mission in life was to become a game developer, all because of Warcraft 3. Our goal with the campaign missions is really to bring the entire Warcraft 3 experience in one place. We want to preserve that compatibility with existing versions of the game, whether you have the old or new. We want to make sure individuals have the capability to come along with their friends. Wowhead says, so there will be any updates for the original game after remastered? Rob says, in many ways, the original game is the foundation. We'd like to fix Night Elf. They're pretty broke right now. So we have a team desperately working on how to nerf the Keeper of the Grove before he entangles us all. The engine itself, the units, the way units behave, the AI, all of that is the original. Then we add onto it, making deliberate changes on the graphics, UI and so forth. Those have all been reforged. The compatibility with the original game is our lodestone. That's what keeps us in check in terms of changes. Really, what we've been doing for the last 18 months to two years is adding incremental patches for balance updates. Wowhead says, using the same engine for reforged and for Rosen Throne, how do you think this 16-year-old engine with all the new battle net support and graphics, how does it hold up? Well, it's a big task for our heroic engineers, but it's been coming along. We've been doing these new patches, bringing things into the game already, and looking for areas to improve the editor. Because with the new engine, it will carry through into Reforged. Rob says, and examples, like our more recent patches, we added widescreen support, so there's no longer stretched proportions. I mean, those were definitely good. 
Those are modern conveniences we can add in, and it's helping our engineers get comfortable with working on some of this stuff. Remember, this is a 16-year-old tech that we're modernizing and bringing into 2018 technology. It's almost two different generations of engineering philosophy, uh, phil philosophy and design. We're fortunate that Blizzard has a lot of amazing engineering talent, and some of the folks have been uh, with us since the beginning. One of our lead engineers was the original developer for the engine for Warcraft 3. So we said, yep, yeah, we're bringing that guy on because we, he knows where all the bodies are hidden. Wowhead says, I know Warcraft 3 was one of my first games. So when I heard about this remaster, I got really excited. Rob says, we thought it was a fantastic way to help showcase some of the backstory behind a lot of things, as well as the level design. But also remember that Warcraft 3 had a lot of great in-game cinematics and we we're cutting, recutting all of those chain to change the camera angles to give a lot more definition because those models are so much more detailed now. We're in position to really tell the story the way that we wanted to 16 years ago. I forget how many hours, but it's many, many, many hours of in-game footage telling the origin story. And now with the visual fidelity amped up, it helps to link back into the amazing story. I can understand why they're focusing on the story so much. I'll go into that in a moment, actually. We're almost there. Uh, Michael says, one example I'd like to point out is that whenever a character back in the day would point at something, they'd use their whole fist. Now they have fingers so they can point. That's HD. Wowhead says, about cinematics, what about voiceovers? Will you be using the same existing ones or will you be making new ones? Rob says, we're going to make a few updates. You know, again, with StarCraft Remastered, we learned a lot about the importance of player choice. This is your game, just as much as ours. We don't want to take away how you enjoy your game. We want to add to it. There are things we can't uh, we aren't just going to drop. We're adding new languages, additional support for regions around the world. So there's a lot of cool stuff that will get packaged with this. Well, Head says, really excited to hear that. Well, that's it. You gave us a lot of things to write about. We're really excited about the remaster. Rob says, awesome man. And Michael says, that's good. Is it good? It is acceptable. Where we're at right now by the looks of it, is Warcraft 3 will die when Reforged comes out. It's as simple as that. It is play Reforged or play Warcraft 3 with a far more diminished community. So pretty much is Reforged or the highway. You know, it's, it is that. That is your only choice right now. What they look like they're doing is bringing the game to the same standards of Warcraft 3 in terms of gameplay, which is going to be one of the hardest aspects of trying to get the collision sizes and the pathing and all of that correct, even though it is technically supposed to be the Warcraft 3 engine. It didn't quite look exactly like the pathing was working, how it does do in Warcraft 3, judging from Grubby's stream, but who knows? Until I can play with it myself, I can't get a true feel for it. But I see it as they want to get the game to play like Warcraft 3, up the graphics... So it is more in line with World of Warcraft and retell the entire story again through different map layouts and probably different characters. You'll still have the original Malganus in all of this, but you'll also have some additional characters that they'll bring in to emphasize the lead up to these baddies. So... The campaign is probably going to be by far and away the most revamped thing in this game, aside from the graphics. So you're pretty much getting this game to replay the campaign, as far as I can tell, and to stay in the community of Warcraft 3. You will have to move on to this or stay with the original. It will fracture the player base, but assuming that everyone moves on to this game, or the majority do, we'll have to hope that the custom maps work out because if we lose the custom game scenario uh, community, then you have to wonder who is there to play the multiplayer because multiplayer is not going to be easy for most people. These days, there aren't many RTS games out there. Barely any. And they're hard to play. Hard to play in comparison with Dota games and everything that people are currently used to. So I can't see this bringing in many new ladder players. Its best bet is to 
convince people to play the custom games and to reel them in that way. But I feel that most people are just going to get into the game to give the campaign a new, fresh take and enjoy the story being told because the story is good. It's just going to be told in a new way, more cinematic with heavier cutscenes. And like I say, I hope the custom games are good because I just don't think the multiplayer is going to hold up. But that's my opinion. Bogdanov says there is no fracturing. Both Classic and Reforged can play melee with each other. Those own, those who own Classic but not Reforged can still play multiplayer. I'm not saying that they can't play it. I'm just saying that the impact that this Reforged is going to have is going to have a knock-on effect. Those that are used to playing multiplayer, um, like myself and such, with the current graphics and the feel of the game that is as it is, might get a bit of a... Unless it feels exactly how it does, they're not all going to stick around to play competitive. And how many new people are going to come onto the ladder is what I'm saying. Probably not that many because it's a hard game. So where this falls back on is really the custom games. Because the campaign is all fine and dandy, but that's a single player experience. That's a one and done. The only thing that really gives this game legs, as far as I can tell, is its custom game. So they really need to nail that. Those are my opinions. You're welcome to, you know, say I'm wrong, say I'm right, whatever you want. I'm sure you've got your own opinions and you can throw them forward as well. Motion Sense says, my question is why Warcraft 3 hasn't got the same treatment as StarCraft 1 with the remaster? Having the same graphics but HD. Well, that's what I would have preferred and I think Grubby as well. The way... I, I shouldn't speak for Grubby, but at least for myself, the way I look at it is StarCraft Remaster was exactly what I would be after. Just to touch up on the graphics, which for me are fine. I don't even need the graphics to be updated, but if you're going to update them, make them look a bit better. But keep the models the same so they still have the same definition. And paint over it. Don't reskin it. Don't remodel it. Don't retexture it. Don't re polygonize it, if that's the correct term. You know, add all those extra polygons. Because that just adds a little bit too much depth, which adds a little bit too much clutter when the gameplay is what really matters rather than the graphical fidelity, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Fast Mad Cow says, so we just have to pretty much wait until we can see the gameplay, which it ain't going to be for like four to five months. Let's face it. So it is one of those things where we'll just have to wait and see. We don't really have much of a choice. I think it's move on to this or that's it pretty, pretty much. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. We'll just have to see how what they do with it. And I'll try to let you know what it is that they do with it because I'll obviously be keeping tabs and making videos. So we'll see. All right. Thank you. All the best. Take care.